I'll ask Fraser McNaught from Tech Savvy to come up to present our award, and I'll ask Dr. Annette Cecil to come up to the stage as well. And Fraser, if you'd like to say a couple of words, feel free. So if you ever um, feel like you've done a lot in your life, come to one of these events. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get up extra early tomorrow to try to keep up with this one, so. Um, it is my honor to present May Court's Women of Excellence Award to you, Annette. By celebrating your significant and numerous contributions to veterinary and cancer medicine here this evening, we not only recognize the extremely positive contributions that you have made, but also the inspiration that you provide to the many young women in the Chatham-Kent area who have yet to discover the immeasurable power of education and the human spirit. And from my heart, for everything you do, as you know, animals mean a lot to my family, my wife and I. Congratulations. Wow. <laughs> Thank you very much, Fraser. I would like to start by thanking the Maycourt Club of Chatham for sponsoring the Women of Excellence Awards. I am very honored to receive an award this evening from an organization that is so esteemed and so established, and I am very humbled to be included among a group of four amazing women. I'd also like to take a moment to recognize the nominees tonight for their incredible achievements and their work. You know, when I arrived in town a few days ago, I thought to myself, gosh, there are not a lot of people that could return 50 years later to a place that they consider home. The same town, the same house, the same childhood room, the same stable family. And it really made me realize how blessed I've been in life and how grateful I am for the all the opportunities that I've received. I would like to extend my heartfelt gratitude and love to my mom and dad, Helen and Frank Cecil, who I'm so lucky to have with me here tonight, and to my sister Janine. They raised me in a family with very strong family ties, and they provided me with an endless supply of emotional, spiritual, and financial support. I know without a doubt that I would not be standing here tonight without them. So mom, dad, and Janine, thank you so much. I would also like to thank... I would also like to thank my extended family, my grandparents, aunts, uncles, and cousins, for allowing me to be part of what is still one big happy family. And to all my friends who have been with myself and my family through the good times, the fun times, and the rough times that we all have. I'd like to take a special moment to recognize you, Chatham, a very unique and nurturing town that provided me with a safe place to grow up, a wonderful education, wonderful teachers. When I started my first year at University of Western Ontario, I was having a little bit of trouble with some difficult calculus equations and first level Latin at the university level. So I turned to some of my teachers from Chatham Collegiate Institute. Dr. Oh, sorry, Mr. John Slaughter arranged to meet with me after classes and helped me and coached me through some of those difficult calculus equations, that three-dimensional calculus that I just never could seem to get a hold of. Mr. Bart Hewings invited me to his home. His wife made snacks in the kitchen while we laughed and worked through some of those difficult Latin translations. Just imagine how many people can say that they have something like that to go back to. It was really amazing. A lot of people in a little town helped me along a course that has become a very fantastic and amazing life course. And last but not least, I would like to recognize Dr. Joseph Bauer the founder of the Bauer Research Foundation and B-Note Oncology, and whom I work with every day. When I first met Dr. Bauer, I didn't think that myself, a single individual, 
would be capable of making any changes. But Dr. Bauer fostered in me my desire to try and make a difference in this world. He's the mindset that you can do whatever you want to do and try and make a change. And that's something he does on a continuous basis, no matter how big or small. And I'm really grateful to him for that and for teaching me everything I know about cancer research and the scientific process. And you know, making change isn't easy. All of the awardees here tonight, I'm sure, will tell you there's no guidebook, there's no set of instructions. Very often it forces you out of your comfort zone and you do things that you never thought you could do, things you're never familiar with. It takes a little bit of ambition and incentive to pick up the ball instead of waiting for someone else. And just a little bit of stubbornness to pick yourself up one more time than the number of times you fell. But I've come to realize that all of us here tonight have the capacity within us to do something to help and work and make the world a better place. And it doesn't have to be monumentous. It can start with the little things, helping out a stranger, taking a moment to hug a dog or pet a cat, spending an extra minute to speak or listen to a senior, or reaching out to a child in need. And you may think to yourself, well, this isn't making a big difference in the world. But as the saying goes, it may make a world of difference to that one individual. And that's something that we can all do. I'd like to close this evening by thanking the May Court Club once again. It's an incredible honor. And your recognition this evening will provide me with the energy and encouragement to do whatever I can to help the people and the animals in this little world that we all call home. Thank you very much.